Yeah. Fuck them. No, we don't need money. Trava. Hello, sir. The letter. Udachi. Udachi. Stay asleep. Leaving Bishkek, going to Almaty, mm -hmm. and here is the process. I'm in a taxi now, but we're going to another taxi, and you get um, a shared car basically with a driver. Once it fills up with people, you leave. The? The. Okay. And she's helping me. She's helped me find the right guy and negotiate because. You don't know the prices, you most likely, most likely get screwed. So I asked her to do some negotiation for me. They're connected like aspen trees. Everybody knows everybody. Sometimes there's infighting, sometimes they help each other out. So that was pretty easy. He said, go to this guy. Nobody's on this ride and I gotta get to the airport in Almaty at I gotta be there by 5.30. So if we do leave in two hours, like he said is possible, that's uh, that's a no-go, that's a missed flight situation. I thought there would be many, many people, but uh, there aren't. So we gotta fill this thing up. We gotta fill the van up and then we go. Back at the... Okay. Как вас зовут? Замир. Замир. Питер. Питер. Очень приятно. Сколько час Алматы? Костюмс. Сколько после костюмс? Yeah. Там четыре часа. Четыре часа. So motion beat Алматы three. Да. Three часа. Там можно после костюм. Костюм. Спасибо. Что? Аматы? Что это? Трава. Трава? Замир, он классный парень. Добрый день, добрый день. Добрый день. Замир был на начале, но потом он очень вкусно. Я чувствую, что мы имеем хороший парень. Как показать Замир? Замир предложил мне договор. Он сказал, что он поедет мне один to the airport in Almaty for $65. It's roughly five hours to drive. And I love the experiences of filling the car up and, and connecting with random people, but I definitely messed this situation up and came too late this morning. So don't do that if you're going uh, Bishkek to Almaty. From what he's saying, do it early in the morning. I'm gonna take Zamir's offer. Zamir. Zamir. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> He's pumped. He doesn't have to wait, and he gets the full price. So. Yeah. Off. Off to the border. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just for the record, the Kyrgyz do drive a little mad. I will say, it's a very peaceful. It feels very peaceful on the streets, but I feel like all the aggression is let out behind the uh, the steering wheel and the gas pedal. Zamir's trying to poke through this intersection Nice and air. I show. Getting close to the Kazakh border and I made the fatal mistake of giving money first. He wanted he wanted it all and I gave him half. So I got a weird feeling right now there's a bit of a scam going on as in I don't see him on the other side of the border because I got to go through customs. He's got to go through with his car. So this should be interesting. I got a weird feeling. Normally, always give money at the end with taxi drivers. Like I always do that. And since we don't have anyone in the vehicle, I thought, well, he needs some gas money. I'll give him half up front. I wasn't really on my A game. So we'll see if I see Zamir on the other side. 
right beyond that flag is Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. I got that totally wrong. I thought I thought he was scamming me, and he's not. It's really cool. But I've heard of a lot of people getting scammed at this border. And so I do have a history here. I have a very interesting history. Seal had a show, Spasiba. Okay. 16 years ago, I was traveling with a friend of mine. I was traveling with a friend of mine and we got to the other side and I lost, lost him. His name's Gavin. And we were with the shared taxi, many people in it. And we didn't know where he went. We waited for like an hour. And so this one lady, this very uh, tough, authoritative type woman, went looking for him. Well, we all went looking for him, but then she found him in a car, in the back of a car, with this smoking hot woman. It was like a supermodel, he said, and two militia, two policemen. And they were trying to extract money out of him. So they wouldn't let him leave the car, but he said it was this interesting situation where he's in the back of a car with a smoking hot woman. And, you know, they're just sort of hanging out. So that was 16 years ago here. I think things have cleaned up quite a bit uh, from my experiences so far in these two countries, this trip. It's like way easier to get around. Okay, Shoshuan, how do show? It's all good? Yeah. You, that's how you say your name, Shoshuan? Jaswan. Jaswan. Just call me Jess. Jaswan. The very friendly border agent, Jaswan. 16 years ago I came through here, mm. and it was totally different. <laughs> this was... is a real progress. <laughs> Seriously, bro. Yeah. My friend was like held hostage over there. Mm. Seriously, two militia guys put him in the back of the car, wanted money. They had a like a supermodel back there in the car too. Fuck them. No, we don't need money. <laughs> Have a nice trip. All right, bro. Kazakhstan is definitely much different this time coming in. Take care, bro. Very cool. I mean, I've never been to a border where they said, yeah, uh, put your camera up and take footage if you want. It's so cool to see the changes in the world. like. Everything's always changing. It's either getting better or worse. And I would say this, well, this border in Kazakhstan in general is on um, the much better trend. And as far as letting tourists in, like before it was cre it was super hard to get visas. It was a pain in the ass. You need to do all this documentation. And now it's simple, no visa, just write on a little piece of paper and go through in like 10 minutes. There's Zamir, Zamir's calling me. Zamir. See how to show. All is good. Two hundred kilometers, one hundred and twenty miles from Amati. Not much between the two cities. Just wide, expansive spaces. Highway stop for lunch. Probably the coolest looking money. Kazakh, uh, what is it, Tengi. Dorogi, Dorogi. Kusha. Coffee? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. I was thinking the, um, the local restaurants they have off the, the main road. He just brought me to like a truck stop type place.
Okay, off for a little dining experience, guys. Roadside cafe, middle of nowhere, Kazakhstan. Здравствуйте. Курица? Chicken, no, no chicken. Cheese, cheese. Cheese, okay, можно. Один, да. Нормально, да, да. Спасибо. Как вас зовут? Боржан, Боржан. Боржан. Питер. Питер? Да, очень приятно. Вот такой пробок? Тоже. Проблемы. Проблемы? Хорошо? Да, где Америка? Бабушка ездила, бабушка. А, -а, -а бабушка. интересный. Статуя свободы, бабушка моя. He's got a visa to the US. Cool. Откуда? Yeah. Yeah, да. Yeah. Да. Каскелен. 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 Штат Каскелен. Штат Каскелен. Штат Каскелен. Штат Каскелен. Вы откуда? Калифорния. Да, 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 да. Вы просто гуляете, да? Это яйца? Это вареные. Можно. Курица. Курица. Uh, Казахстан, Исикол uh, и Бишкек. Удачи, удачи. Счастливо. Счастливо. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, this is very <laughs> difficult, uncomfortable shooting footage to get. The reason I'm doing it is because I want to bring you in close to the action, close to the real life, close to the hospitality. I always talk about it, I always try to explain it to people, but it's one thing to talk, another thing to show. So that's that's the whole reason. But it's really uncomfortable because some people obviously don't want a camera on their face. Which is totally understandable. Yeah, morozhne, morozhne. Morozhne? Morozhne? Yeah. Okay. Dva. Dva? Da. Balshoi ili malenki? Big or small? Big. Big. Dva balshoi. Two big ones. So what I was saying is... <clears throat> some people I really don't like the camera in their face. So it's this crazy balance of getting it up to the people that don't mind and hiding it from the people that do mind. And like the woman, she uh, <clears throat> the woman that worked there, she didn't want the camera up, so I had to take it down. It was a little uncomfortable, uh, but again, the whole reason is just to show you guys the real life. It's what I've. It's my mission to show true, authentic moments. So I hope that worked. Uh, I had to put the camera down a bunch. Okay, let's go get started. Very delicious food. It was like a, it was like an empanada. It's basically what it was. I don't know the name. What's very interesting in this part of the world is the Soviet Union comprised of 15 countries. And there's some sameness about them, but they also have their own unique identities. So the Stan countries, there's five of them. And they're all different, but there's some like Russification feeling that you feel in all of them. And then you can go to Estonia and that's a completely different world. It's, it's much more European. So after traveling in this part of the world long enough, you come to realize it's it's crazy it stayed together as long as it did because it has so many cultures, such expansive territory, so many languages, so many different languages are, were in the former Soviet Union, are in the former Soviet Union. So, what are the last 70-ish odd years? 
I don't know how it kept together because Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan have a lot of similarities. They're different, but then you take Kazakhstan and Estonia or Georgia, and those are different worlds completely. Uh, no, no, yet, 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 yet. Especially, especially. Yeah, it's really fascinating. This, this part of the world is often overlooked, and for me, it's one of my favorites, if not my favorite, because it's not in, it's not at all what um, we were taught, for sure. If we were taught Moscow, the, the you know the look was gray apartment buildings and skies in Moscow. It wasn't massive mountains and different cultures, that's for sure. And so there's the process of passing trucks where he can't see what's around the truck and I can. And it's been a interesting experience of him pulling out and me seeing something oncoming. Okay, da 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 bye. We just got into Almaty and another city where the mountains just kick out of it. Almaty, roughly two million people. You can't see it here on on this street in this area, but it's in general much better off financially than Bishkek. You can feel it. And that's because they have lots of oil, lots of gas. And though I've heard it's quite corrupt, some of that filters down into the into the city, into the infrastructure. Zemir, uh, three. Хорошо. Хорошо, до лета. От США. Окей. Окей. Счастливо. Дозвонимся. Ватсап. Ватсап, окей. Окей, guys. If you like that, please, please subscribe. Um, I'm going to be doing a show on Almaty, a show on Bishkek, and some other ones in Kyrgyzstan. And those are my fully edited videos with music and, well, that are like really packaged together. This is more of my unfiltered, just random, what I run into, not much editing stuff. So, thanks for coming along. Hope you like that.